I think we've learned from our mistakes. APS board member Lorenzo Garcia says the board is ready to take the next step to find a new superintendent. There were errors that were made that unfortunately um, really cost us a lot in terms of our reputation, in terms of the angst that people felt and the anger that they felt. And he wants to make sure this doesn't happen again. He says what happened with Luis Valentino is something no one ever thought would happen. It was a terrible, terrible betrayal of the district, not on the part of the superintendent, but on the part of the person that he chose to be his chief of staff. After he was let go, the community was upset, and Garcia says they wanted to try and resolve things quickly. That's when the firm that hired Valentino offered up a deal. We did get a message from Rand Associates that they would conduct a new search uh, for us for free. At least that's what I recall. Board President Don Duran confirms Rand Associates did make that offer, but says the board hasn't decided whether or not to take them up on it. You may remember Ray and Associates is the same firm the board hired to find another former superintendent, Winston Brooks, who mysteriously resigned last year with a $350,000 buyout. Despite all that, Garcia says he would not have a problem using the firm again. And Garcia also did tell us earlier that they may be looking local for a candidate and may decide to keep their interim superintendent, Raquel Reedy. And we'll let you know more about this meeting and how it goes tonight on KOAT Action 7 News at 10. Live in Albuquerque, Sasha Leninger, KOT Action 7 News.